Welcome. A spiritual exercise today is imaginative prayer with the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. Again, we want to have our, our Bible near us, and if you are there, let's open up to Matthew, chapter 4, verse 18 through verse 22. Today we read of the call of the first disciples and the grace that we're praying for again in this season of our 50-day journey together is we want to know Jesus personally so that we eventually can follow him very closely. I'll read for us Matthew 4, 18-22 and then I'll lead us in I Guided Meditation. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father, Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them. Immediately, they left their boat and their father and followed him. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would take us today where you want to take us. Inspire us. Enliven our spiritual senses so that we, in docility, might receive from you all that you desire to give us. I invite you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine a a large lake that has a sandy shore. A vast lake that has a beachfront sand that you can walk on. And in your mind's eye, imagine that, that massive lake along the shore has... Boats, fishing boats, old fishing boats, wooden fishing boats, up and down the shore. Boats big enough for a crew of, let's say, maybe eight or ten people, made out of wood. And those boats are parked off of the sand and As you imagine those boats up and down the the beach line, there's, imagine now along that beach, men who are gathering all the fish that they caught off those boats in big nets. Just pause for a moment as you can see it in your mind's eye. Up and down the lake, different groups of fishermen with large nets of fish. On the beachfront itself are buyers and sellers. It's a busy place, this lake with a beach. And imagine that you and Simon and Andrew are hovering over your net on the beach. You can see that net. 2,000 years ago, that net would have been made out of almost more rope than maybe something we're used to today. It's heavy. It's wet. And inside there is the, the catch of the evening. 
as you place your hand in the net, you can almost feel the, 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 the water soaked rope on your hand now. If you listen, you can hear the birds, the, almost like the seagulls kind of flapping off on the side. The wind coming off the lake. Right down on the side of you are two men, Andrew and Simon. You fish with them often, you know them well. What do they look like in your mind's eye? Seasoned fishermen. Just imagine what those two men look like in your mind's eye. The three of you are near your net, hoping that there's enough today to, to sell. And as you take your eyes off of the fish, you notice walking down the beach, it's that guy who's been almost preaching to the fishermen the last several weeks, telling his stories of sinners who are forgiven or a God who loves He's walking closer to you and something about you today can't keep your eyes off of him. Jesus is getting closer. What does he look like today? His face, his hair, his robes. As he gets ever closer, he looks at you as he stops. Now he's right next to you. He's, he's just a few feet away. As he stands, you stand, and he looks at you in the eye. And without saying anything, he just looks at you. What's in Jesus' eyes? What do his eyes look like? It's almost as if they see right through your eyes. But yet with mercy, with love, pure love. Andrew and Simon are just looking at him, looking at you. And for a moment, everybody's forgotten about the fish. He looks at you and says, Will you follow me? Will you follow me? Follow me. Are you drawn to the word follow? Or are you drawn to the word me? Stay there in the meditation. Let it unfold however it's going to unfold. Go wherever he's going to go. Listen to what he says. Follow me. God bless you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>